Hey, this is a great question that you posted, so I'm gonna help you answer this uh, step by step. First thing that you need to do is look in the problem statement, obviously, for the uh, the any implications on your assumptions or just those little keys in there that uh, tell you what formula you'll need to go ahead and start using. So the first thing that I'm seeing in uh, the first sentence is that there's no mention of a sample. So we can assume that we're working with uh, the entire population of adult male grizzly bears uh, in the wild in the continental US. The next thing that we're given is here, it says approximately normally distributed. So this is gonna tell you a lot about how we're gonna move forward. Uh, all of our information is gonna be working on uh, the normal bell curve, uh, which also tells us that we're probably gonna be using the Z-score formula. Uh, so you can start to kind of think about that as we continue going through. We're given the mean, which is one of the components of that formula. We're also given the standard deviation of 50, uh, which is also used in that formula. And the last thing that we're given is the sort of arbitrary number that we wanna know what proportion is more or less than. So we can be pretty confident that we're gonna be using the Z-score uh, formula for this problem. Last thing, it's just that reminder, just uh, to make sure your teacher stays happy with you that you want that answer in four decimal places. So uh, let's get started. First thing that you're gonna need is that formula that we talked about. So what this formula does is it converts numbers from sort of that, that random like population scale of how much bears weigh to a very standardized formula that you can use across all normal populations regardless of what they actually are. So this formula again converts that random weight of a bear to that uh, standardized formula on the normal curve. So the way we convert that number is by finding its z-score. Uh, so we have our x value. Again, that's, the x value is going to be that, that random number we're given, which is 612, because we want to know what proportion of bears weigh less than that. We're given the mean, which is 500. This stuff isn't like statistical knowledge you need. This is just kind of filling in your blanks. Uh, and 50. And so we want to find this number. And when you fill out this, you get 612 minus 500 divided by 50. Your answer is going to be 2.24. So our z-score that we're working with, the z-score that corresponds to an x value of 612 is 2.24. The way you'll find that the proportion uh, once you have a z-score is by using the z-table. So the first thing you want to do is look up here. This is going to tell you what that uh, corresponding number actually means. So we have our z-score, we're gonna find that on the table. And so this tells us that uh, the corresponding number is gonna be the proportion uh, or the area of that table that's less than our uh, z-score of 2.24. So the way you do it is kind of like when you break up numbers in, ele in elementary math, uh, you have the uh, first decimal digit here uh, with the integer, and that's 2.2. And then you add that second decimal, which is 0.4, again, 2.2, plus 0 0.04, make 2.24. The corresponding number is 0.9875. That tells us that is the area of the normal curve that is less than our z value of 2.24. It's 0.9875. So let's uh, sort of interpret this on, on our graph. Here what I have is just uh, a list of numbers that outline exactly what this normal curve is. Uh, the mu is at the very center. You can also say that in our terms of X equals 500 pounds, because that's the mean weight. It's also Z equals zero. On here, we know that the standard deviation is 50. So every standard deviation here is gonna increase that X value by 50, but standard deviation on a Z curve is one. So it's also gonna increase that Z value by one. So let's plot our numbers on here. You have your Z score of 2.24. That's gonna be just above two standard deviations on here. Also just above uh, X equals 600, remember, because ours is 612. So we were just given that proportion of 0.9875. That is everything to the left or everything less than that value on the normal distribution, which is exactly what we want. We want that number. Um, if it said uh, the proportion that's greater uh, than 612 pounds, we'd be looking over here. So if we wanted to do that, we would do one minus 0.9875 and that would give us our answer, but we don't. We actually already have our answer because we want the proportion that's less than that, which we were already given by that table. So your final answer is going to be 0.9875. To interpret this further, you can also say that 98.75% 
of adult male grizzly bears living in the wild in the continental US weighed less than 600 and 12 pounds.